Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. I want to welcome you to this month's Over the Border with Di and Marcy blog hop. And we're using the cute elephant parade bundle. And these little elephants are so adorable, so I can't wait to play with them with you. And then I want to make sure that you check out Marcy's cards as well. And she also did a video, so I can't wait to see what she did because I haven't even seen it yet. So um, let me stop blabbing and we will get started. All right, so um, hold on. All right, well, I flip the phone, flip the camera. You can see how I have all my pieces set out and ready to go. Alrighty, let me make sure I'm straight. That looks good. All right, so let me show you the things that I will be using for my card. So this is the little bundle that, that we're using. The cute little elephant parade. And it has a matching coordinating die as well. So it is super fun. And I like how it has multiples of things in the die. So you have um, like a few peanuts. You've even got kind of like a string of peanuts. There's even a couple little um, bows as well and a balloon. So there's some cute pieces that go with it. So I'm going to use that. I'm also using the Fern 3D. This is a new um, 3D embossing folder. I'm using the deckled rectangles. I could not resist using these. These are going to be, I think, one of my new favorite go-tos. I'm also using Horizon, and I'm using this because it, I wanted to um, use this little grass that's right there. And let's see, that's it. All right. I had another dial. I'm like, I didn't use that. All right, so let's put that off the table and we will get started. All right, so I want to stamp a few little elephants. And I'm going to be coloring with the blend. Surprise, surprise. So I'm going to stamp with the memento. And I want one little guy that's walking. I also want one little guy that's sitting. These little elephants are so cute with their little facial expressions. They're so fun. I also want five of these leaves. And then I'm gonna die cut them out. So one, two, three, and I would go two more. And then we cannot resist the cute little mouse. All right, so I'm going to die cut all of these out. And the magic of TV, look at, I have all my pieces. All right, so here is the rest that I'm using for the card. So we have Granny Apple for our card base. Then here is the new Parakeet Party. And you can see I used that amazing fern on there. I'm not going to put that on there yet. I'm going to get this ready first. All right. I want to do a little bit of blending on here. So I'm going to use Granny Apple because that's the, the card base that I chose. So we're going to go Granny Apple on the bottom. We're just going to put a little bit of ground. So I'm just coming in off the side. And then I just kind of go like this because I want my edges to be a little darker and I want the center to be a little lighter so that when I put my cute little elephants on there, they're almost going to be like highlighted a little bit. All right, so that's our granny apple. 
And then I'm going to do balmy for the sky. But see, I've got this granny apple here. I don't want to be sponging over top of that because it will pull and then I'll have um, granny apple into my balmy. So I'm just going to flip my grid sheet over. And now I'm going to use a balmy. So it's important to, to kind of watch where when you're blending because of that. Because the these two ink pads are the water base. So they're going to kind of be reactivated when you touch more ink to them. All right, so this is the balmy. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing as I did before. I want to kind of leave a little bit of light color in the center. Let me get a little bit more darker just on the edges here. And I love that because it emphasizes that cute deckled edge when you do that. Okay, let me close. How, how many of you leave your pads open and the next thing you know you've got your arm in them? Okay, so now we're going to build a little bit of a scenery. So we've got some cute grass. So I'm just going to first kind of um, just lay them on here without gluing them. I just want to get my placement before I start coloring and everything. So I know I'm going to put my grass there. This little elephant is going to sit over here. This one's going to sit over here. This way I'm going to stamp my greeting here and I just want to make sure I'm putting my greeting in the right spot. So, because I've got all this pretty blending going on, I don't want to mess it up. All right, so I'm going to have this card say Friends Forever. And it's a cling stamp set, so it's not as user friendly in regards to um, getting your greetings right in place. And in case I didn't put my sticker on in the right spot, I'm going to use the old faithful stamp on my jig. So I'm sure if you've stamped for any length of time, you probably have a stamp on my jig in your cupboard. All right, so I'm going to go friends forever in between these two cute little elephants, and then we'll color them. So friends forever. So now I've got that good. Now we can color our cute little elephants. Let me close that. I also have my five leaves and my cute little mouse. All right, make sure you can see. <laughs> okay, let's do our leaves first because they are so easy to do. And I'm going to actually use the new Parakeet Party to color my leaves. And while we're doing our leaves, I'm also going to stamp on the inside of the card. Let me do that too. And then I'm all done my stamping. All right. Let's get all that stamping out of our off our um, table. All right. So we're gonna, I'm going to put a leaf here. So we've got cute little leaves up on the top. This time, I want to use the little um, strolling elephant. And he's just strolling across the card here. And then the greeting I'm going to put on the inside is, I'll never forget your kindness. Isn't that cute? Because it says, an elephant never forgets. All right, so I'm going to use my stamp on my jig again and I'm going to put my greeting up here so it looks like the elephant is actually saying it. it looks like it's coming out of his trunk all right I'll never forget let me make sure I got this good and inked good So stinking cute. Now I can close the ink pad because everything is stamped. All right, so I'm gonna just set this aside so it can dry just a tad while I um, 
start coloring these other leaves. Alright, so I'm going to use the dark parakeet first and then I'll use the light parakeet. So I'm just simply putting the dark along the edge and then I'm putting the dark down the center of the leaves and then this is one behind so it's going to be dark as well and then I'll just do the light to finish it out so they're super easy to color Ta-da! let me hold it up so you can see it see how cute there all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed the camera up so that I can color these leaves and it'll go the video will go a little bit quicker all right There we go. All right, so let's set them aside. And then we can color our cute little elephants. And I'm gonna color them all the same way. We're just gonna consider that these guys are all from the same family. So they're all gonna be very similarly colored. All right, let me get my blend out. All right. We need, of course, a cute little flirty flamingo cheek on each one of our little elephants. And we can't forget the little mouse. So the little mouse has a little flirty flamingo cheek too. All right, now the, the ears of the elephants, I'm using the dark flirty flamingo first so that right next to their little head it's going to be a little bit darker and then I will finish it with the light flirty and I don't use the, the dark flirty as much as I use the light flirty all right then we'll just finish coloring the ear hole with the light there's so cute look at their little faces I'm sure they have stories to tell they look all innocent but I bet they kept their mother on her toes all right then we want dark gray granite so we're going to go dark gray granite just to kind of get like a border around our elephants because we'll go inside with the light gray granite but I just kind of want to have like an edge like a darker edge around them and around the trunk area okay so we'll kind of do the same thing to each one of them and I'm just staying away from their cheek right now but I will go over top of it with the light got to get that frown line that wrinkle okay the head I'm also going to add some smoky slate as well so that these little 
elephants have a lot of um, colors going on. They're just, I just can't get over how cute they are. As soon as I saw them in the catalog, I was like, oh my gosh. I am getting those elephants as soon as I can. So when Marcy and I were picking out what set we were gonna use, it was pretty much unanimous that we wanted to use the elephants. All right, so that was dark gray granite. Now I want light gray granite. And then I'll just color them in. I'm just filling all them in with the light gray granite. Even finish that ear. And now I will go over the cheek so that it's still got gray color, but there's that cheek color underneath the gray. Cute, super cute. So what was the first stamp set that you ordered from the new catalog? I hope if you didn't get the elephants, I hope our projects this weekend will make you think, oh, maybe I do need the elephants. I love little critter sets. I think it would be so much fun to make like a little book. If you had uh, a grandchild or a, a small child in your family, there's so many cr cute critter stamps. I think you could like um, make a book, um, make a story, and then have the child color along as you're telling the story. I think that would be so much fun. All right, so I'm just kind of touching this to get some of those lines away. I don't mind some of them. I'm just gonna blend some of those out just a little bit. So I'm just kind of rough touching it because our little elephants, if you've ever been or seen an elephant, they're hairy, right? They're not smooth. So I'm just kind of touching and it's gonna give it a little bit of texture. All right. So then let me get my dark smoky slate. Like I said, these little elephants are gonna have a lot of little bits of gray in them. So this is the dark smoky. So I'm just going up underneath where it would be a little darker where the shadows are. Little tail. So underneath the head here. So I'm just kind of dabbing it. Just kind of dab, dab, dab. And it's just gonna bring our little elephants even more to life. That little bit of shadow here and there really does make a difference. And anybody can do that. If you're not sure where the shadows go just I always suggest to people like put something on your desk and then just turn the light on in the room and just kind of see how the shadows fall in the room and then just kind of do the same thing on your card all right so that looks good so that was the dark smoky slate and then I'm going to take light smoky and now I'm going to just put a bunch of dots and this is going to give our little elephants the cutest little texture. So I'm just dot, 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 dot. Big little, just dot, dot, dots. And now they look even more furrier and even more cute because they've even got even more little bits of color with all the little dots going on. So hopefully you can see that, and I'll lift them up in a minute. I'll take a better picture to post at the end of the video too. And I'll post a better picture on my blog. Because sometimes as I'm watching the video, I'm like, oh, I hope the colors look better. My monitor isn't always accurate. All right. 
but look how cute the little elephants are with that little bit of texture on them. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. Thank you, camera. So see, isn't that so cute? All right, I also want to put a little bit of blue above their eyes. So they have almost like a little, like, um, not mascara, but like their eyelid has a little bit of, little bit of blue. All right, then I'm going to take number 500 and do their little toenails. So they have little toenail colors. So like I said, I'm just going to color them pretty much all the same way. Oh, I love them so much. All right. Then we have to color our little mouse. And then I'm gonna do the same kind of idea with the ears. I'm gonna put the dark right in the edges. I also want a dark pink tail because that little mouse, they have a little pink tail. All right, and then the light flirty. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see, 500. I'm always getting confused. Which is the lighter color? Which is the darker color? All right. So this is 500. Yes. So this is 500 for the mouse. And because I'm going to do his belly a different color. And he's tiny. He is a little tiny mouse. All right. So again, that was 500. And then I'll do 400 for a little bit of a darker emphasis on the mouse. Then I want, let's see, my two petal pinks. So we've got dark petal pink on the belly. And light petal pink. And a little bit of flirty. And there's his belly. All right. Now, I think we just have to put everything together. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're, we've got our cute little um, sponged, you know, this is basically where we're going to build our card. All right. So I want these three pieces. And I'm going to take baby glue dots and I'm like where are the oh baby dimensionals make sure you can see and I'm just going to put a baby dimensional on this biggish the biggest spot really because it's pretty skinny die and I'll move this so this isn't in the way all right and we're just going to stick these on so I'm starting here and I'm going off the page so that my grass, you know, kind of sits off. And then this one, peel that off. And I'm gonna hold that up. And I want this one to hold this one. And then we're gonna go back after the cards all put together and we're gonna put some more dimensionals and glue dots and stuff underneath to hold it better. We're basically just getting our layout going. All right, so we've got our cute little grass. Then I'm gonna take a glue dot. And then these are the little grasses that come with the elephant. So these ones were the horizon ones, so they're a little bit bigger. These ones come with the elephant. I'm putting the glue dot on there and then I'm folding it over. And then all I'm doing is I'm gonna pick this up and I'm just gonna fold this back and I'm gonna tuck this grass up underneath there. So you've got a little bit of dark grass with the light grass. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I have three big ones and three little ones. So again, put your glue dot, fold it over. 
that one's a little bit easier because this one is still loose there. And here's my last one. So these glue dots drive me nuts because they're still on the wrong side of the of the paper. I'm an old dog. It's hard to learn a new trick, I swear. All right, same thing. Pull that up and stick that grass in there. And then you've got a variation of, of grasses. All right, now we're going to take our cute little elephants. Come here, baby. All right, and then I'm going to stick them in here like that. And I'm just going to use the glue dots. Now, if you want them to have a little more, bit more definition, you could, but I'm gonna stick them behind the grass, so I don't want them to be too sticking out. All right, so there's one, our little mouse, and this little guy. I love how they're almost like this little guy's looking back, like, like maybe they're not from the same family. Maybe this little guy likes her. And he's going, oh, she's kind of cute. Oop, let me make sure I don't have cover up my friends forever. Because I guess they wouldn't be the same family. It says friends forever. What was I thinking? All right. So we've got our little one here. Now, the mouse, I want to be in front of the grass. So I'm going to put a dimensional on my mouse. So the little mouse is going to be on the grass. Right there. All right. Then we're going to put our leaves on. So I'm going to put some of the leaves on with the glue dots and some on with dimensionals just so that I have like a variation, like they're in the jungle, they're got the trees around them. And these work good on the ground too. You could use them on the ground, but I'm choosing to put them up above the elephants. All right, so one, two, and then these two I'm gonna put on with dimensionals. And I'm gonna put the dimensional here so I don't put it so it's over here. So this is just gonna give you more of a 3D effect. And we're making, we're basically making a scene. I love making scene cards. All right, same thing here. Little glue dot, glue dot, or dimensional, sorry. I swear, I'm always calling them the wrong thing. All right, and then that is going to go there. Okay, now let's bring our card over. So this is going to go on here. So you're going to have, there's just so much texture going on. You got your ferns here, so you can see those ferns it's peeking around the edge. And I'm going to put this on with dimensional so that you'll see the ferns even more. I'll put the big mama dimensionals on there. All right. Get off of there. All right. So this goes on there. Hopefully that's straight with the camera in my way. Okay. And I like how this is going over here, so that's not a big deal. All right, then this is gonna go on here, and I'm just gonna glue this one direct. So you just wanna be slow and don't have a lot of pressure, and you wanna use the seal, because you've got all that texture going on. And then we'll also put the inside, gotta put our little elephant on the inside. And then what I'll do is I'm also going to check to see how loose some of my grass is. But let's get this little guy put in the inside. We'll just check our grass. If it's loose, we're just going to tack it up inside a little bit. So inside, 
Isn't that so fun? With the little little um, leaf there and the cute little speckly elephant. All right, so this is what I mean. Where's my pick tool? All right, look at all this mess. All right, so what I do is I kind of touch. So see, this has got, a, it's a little loose. So then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a glue dot. I'm gonna take my pick tool. If you don't have a pick tool, make sure you grab one of those. I use it all the time. All right, so I'm just rolled my glue dot into a ball. And then I'm just gonna lift this up, stick that under there, and now that's not going to go anywhere. Same thing, I'll see how loose this is. So that's good, it got tacked. And I'm just gonna stick one under there just for heck's sake. So that's why I'm never, you know, I don't worry too much when I'm putting it together because it's easy to adjust it. And see, everything looks good. So there we go. Isn't that the cutest little card? And I always have one that I do in advance. So here's both of them together. They look pretty darn close, I think. Almost like twin cards. So cute, right? So if you came on Marcy's blog or her YouTube channel, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my card. Um, if you have yet to see um, Marcy's project, make sure you head over there now. And if you have any questions at all, um, make sure you reach out to us. I'm in the United States if you need anything in um, America. I would love to be your demonstrator if you don't have one. If you don't have a demonstrator in Canada, make sure you reach out to Marcy. She is awesome and so talented. All right, so have a great weekend, and um, we'll see you next month. All right, bye for now.